Yeah. 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 Let's get him. Let's get him. Once again, it's on right back like I left something. Here we go, people. Got something real special. You want it to yourself. Why is Hulk Buster up here alone? Where's the rest of the Builder figures? Because this is the one and only Iron Man special. Yeah. Who's coming to you three times a day? Same outfit. I ain't doing it on separate days, having the same clothes. Who's doing this? Who's doing this? I'm doing this for the love of the game. The love of the game, baby. You gotta do things for the love of it. Mm, let's get it in. Here we go. What do I mean by Iron Special? Iron Man Special. Well, let me show you, man. What you about to see is all of my Iron Man. All of my iron bigs, period. Everyone, every single one that I own, right? Everybody knows HB Smooth, right? HB, the best builder figure of all time, my opinion. Numero uno. Here we go. Dos. Civil War. Iron Man Mark 46 in the building. Raw. Dope. You ain't got him? Get him. Get him. Here we go. Tress. Marvel now, Iron Man. Gotta believe it. Liquid metal armor. Came with the Hulk Buster Bill, right? Dope. You don't got him? Get him. Dress. Iron Man family. Brody Bro. Brody Bro. You know him as War Machine. Same. Hulk Buster Bill, right? Came with him, right? Brody Bro actually was the left leg, the right leg of the Hulk Buster. You ain't got him? Get him. All right? Last, certainly not least, two and one, one swoop, right? This pack was originally at $59. I believe it was $59 or $49, sorry. $49. Uh, it dropped down. I said, if it dropped down, I'm going to get it. Oh, I got it. Because I like Iron Man. Iron Man is that dude. Two pack. Iron Mark 27 and War Machine. One fell swoop. Got him. Check out that war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Whew. All right, now I got something real special for you guys. So, stay tuned. This is my first ever review. I will be reviewing two packs. Who doing it like this? Me, that's who, your boy, your man's in there. Plastic at it, stay tuned. Get him, Iron Fam.
All right, here we go, people. Plastics Addicts first review, first review of Captain America: Civil Wars, War Machine. All right, so uh, War Machine here comes with two closed fists. You can see here comes with a shocker. Basically, he holds it and he can uh, he can shock with it. Um, comes with uh, two um, guns here. Uh, you can do uh, three things with it. You can have them hold it. Um, they come apart really easy. You can have them hold it uh, like so, or uh, they also can attach to his side, his side of his uh, his thigh, uh, with the little pegs that they have here, um, or they can also attach to his uh, wrists, which is pretty cool um, that they did that. Um, three variations. Um, we also have here his cannon, um, also attached to uh, right where his uh, trapezoid is at the top here. Um, pretty cool that uh, we got attachable and detachable uh, weapons. And also these are his uh, blasters, which also attach to the top of his trapezoids. Um, next look we're going to see is War Machine actually holding the weapons that he came with that he comes with. There we go. War Machine looking pretty daggone sweet. I do say so myself. Uh, this is the, the gun that I was talking about. You can uh, you have uh, three options here. You can have him uh, have it here on his thigh. Um, you can have him hold it which is pretty dope. Um, also uh, you can take it off of his thigh here and simply open it up or leave it closed. I think it looks better closed. Oh, see, these things fall off pretty simple. As you can see, how small it is to attach to uh, to the hole that, holes that they gave you. They don't really stay in very well. Um, you have to basically get your get it really set up for it to. Um, for it to basically uh, stay in there. Um, you gotta press it, and they don't stay in the holes very well. As you can tell, everything's dropping off. Um, not so well, you stick it in here like this here. Uh, so it basically sticking out of his forearm. So he'll have a blaster here that he can shoot with, and also his machine gun there uh, where he can uh, shoot out of. Um, what I was talking about before, this this here is supposed to peg in the top of his uh, the, the peg hole is here. It's pegging the top here, but they didn't make the hole and the uh, gun tight enough where it stays in. Um, it'll stay in for a little bit after you start moving the figure around. It will pop out. As you can see, it drops out pretty easy, um, but still pretty cool. If you have them in a fixed position, these are also uh, cannons that you can stick in here. He has also another one um, to put over on this side, um, vice versa, his movable gun. Um, these here. And he'll be looking like this here with his two. These are designed to, you know, shoot up in the air, um, not like the cannon, which can spin around and swivel. Pretty cool. Um, so, posability, not too bad as far as posability um, for an iron or a uh, war machine figure. Um, again, he has shoulder flaps that come up just a little bit. Um, head rotation turned to uh, the left a little bit, uh, turn it to the right, this here, not too bad. Um, he can look up this far here, look down, really good. Uh, they have a notch cut out for his chin to be tucked down into his chest like that. It's really cool. Um, he can raise his arm up about this far here and down this far. It actually moves with the figure, which is pretty sweet. Um, some figures do not. Um, the detail on him is absolutely outstanding. As you can see, 003 here. Um, he has a 
the Air Force uh, logo here as well. Moving around to the back side. Also, very, very good attention to detail they did here on uh, the back of his back. Also, you can see the workings of his armor here and uh, the posability that he has. Um, he can also kick forward this much here off the ground. And he has a tiny bit of hip flex to the side. Just a tiny bit there. He, do, he does have double jointed knees, which is pretty cool. And single, single jointed elbows. Uh, as far as for wrist rotation, uh, it's almost non-existent. Um, it can turn slightly, just slightly. Uh, not too bad at all. If, if I was to rate this figure from a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it about a 7. Um, again, with these uh, gun ports that go up in these sockets um, it may just be my figure why it looks so or it doesn't stay in there as well um, maybe your figures may stay in a little bit better than mine um, as far as for angle pivot it is non-existent um, because of the way his, uh, his boots are uh, no ankle pivot whatsoever um, he does have a slight bit of rotation here at the top which isn't too bad but all in all I think it's a pretty clean figure um, he comes with a lot of weapons as you can see um, not bad now his counterpart Iron Man Mark 27 stay tuned this here is the second actual figure that comes in the pack um, it's labeled Marvel Avengers. It is the Iron Man Mark 27 suit, um, also named Disco, also named Chameleon. Um, this suit uh, got his name Disco because of the bright orange and purplish uh, attire that it has. It's also named Chameleon because it has the capabilities of blending into its own uh, environment. Uh, in my in my personal opinion, this suit is absolutely 100% without a shadow of a doubt on point. Let's take a closer look at the suit and how it looks. Uh, they really do pay attention to detail when it comes to these suits. Um, unfortunately, um, he only comes with um, closed hands. Um, the hands can come off. But um, while taking them off, it won't really match with anything else because it's a very, it's a really special paint job that it has. It does have a, a back cannon, um, just like the War Machine. Um, it, uh, it does look really, really, really nice uh, in certain lights. Um, very, great, great bendable and posability. Uh, great articulation. Um, and we'll go over the articulation uh, right now, shall we? Okay, so the head movement is very sweet. Um, not as sweet as War Machine. It can look this far down, right? Uh, this far up. Uh, the gun here is uh, can swivel 360 degrees. You can change it from... Um, one side to the other depending on um, where you would like him and where he's shooting as you um, go through his poses he does have shoulder pads that uh, move up this far um, both sides as well um, so when he raises uh, his arms which come up this far they actually move up out of the way um, arm come up this far um, he does have a small diaphragm joint where you can swivel around like this here um, legs also do kick up this far which is not that much right um, also he only has single a single joint single joint knee 
Hmm. Nope. Yeah. Yep. Only a single joint. Um, no real flex here in the ankle. No ankle pivot. He does have a rotation here. Upper bicep. And no rotation at the wrist. Oh, I'm sorry, not at the wrist, but at the forearm. Um, he does have rotation 360 degrees at the wrist. Um, they do not hinge up or down, back or forth. Um, this is your Mark 27 Disco Chameleon Iron Man. This is your Iron Man War Machine 2 pack Mark 27. I'm um, sorry about it. It was kind of rough, but it was my first one. I had to grind through it. We'll get better over time if I decide to continue to do it. Who knows? But hope still, all in all, you guys enjoyed it. Maybe, maybe not. Leave a comment. Let me know how it did. I know it was rough, so I know the comments are going to be pretty crucial, but it's okay. I love progression. I love doing what I'm doing. And like I always say, be patient with your hunts. Be patient with yourself. Just be patient. And if you're patient enough, even an egg will grow legs. It's your boy, Plastic Addict. First review, pretty rough. Signing out. Plastic Attic, out. There we go, people. One last look at the Iron Family. All of them together that I own, that is looking pretty sweet.